Yo, what up, everybody? It's DL Stewart, and today I'm doing another Do You Hate Me Yet video. Today's topic is show versus tell, or show don't tell, or whatever. If you're a writer, I'm sure you've heard this like a million times, beating into the dirt, you know, whatever. Um, it's just like one of those things you just hear, you know, show don't tell. I believe show don't tell is a poor advice, in a sense. Um, I've seen other people talk about how it's a lazy advice or just bad advice altogether. Um, I don't think it's technically a bad advice. I think it's said too much and is thought of too much as well um, for it to actually to hold any merit in the writing itself. So I don't tell basically is like instead of telling that she's mad, show that her face is red and you know her brow is scrunched, her eyes are like beaming at the person, whatever, you know, her voice gets, you know, deeper or louder or whatever. You show the emotions, you show them actually being mad, you go through the descriptions. But if you show don't tell everything in your book, you're weighing the entire novel down or short story or whatever you're writing down with a bunch of descriptions and all kinds of different adjectives and adverbs and everything else and it makes it too slow to read certain situations you need to tell don't fucking show you know you don't have to show me everything i go hop in the car start it up and leave there i told you why i did i went to the car hopped in and started up and left perfectly fine you know what it is showing it I walked outside, or I opened the door, I walked outside, I went to the car, I opened the car door, I sat down, put the key in the ignition, I turned it on, you know, listen to the engine rev a minute, put it in reverse, backed out of the driveway, put it in drive, went forward. That's a lot of bullshit that y'all don't fucking need to put in the book, all right? You do need to tell version instead of show a lot of times. Um, I get the idea of show don't tell, especially talking to new writers it's to help them write descriptions and to make things more engaging and making things seem more three-dimensional and not as flat someone walked somewhere is kind of flat compared to somebody skipped or traipsed you get a more of a visual of what is going on but at the same time you get just as good as visual i went outside hopped in the car and left as you would if I actually explained everything, except it speeds it up a lot faster. As well as you want your pacing to be kind of on point. If you show everything, it slows your pacing down so much because there's so much description and everything else. There's so much narrative to it where telling speeds it up and makes it go faster. So depending on what pace you want, you want to do show or you want to do tell. So just saying show don't tell all the time and actually believing it or you know just cramming that down people's throats I think it's just stupid. You don't always want to show versus tell. You can tell stuff. And you can tell me that you hate me if you do. I don't care.